everyone in today's video we learn how to do this beautiful overlay lettering effect uh, that you can use in your notion uh, blogs or your websites wherever you want to uh, you know add some aesthetic so let us uh, get started on how we can uh, do this overlay lettering effect so as you can see it's definitely overlay it has a bit of uh, like two tones going on like a shadow effect it's definitely overlay as I mentioned earlier so I'm going to write down the code and then later on we can see if we have made any mistakes so that we can learn uh, we can correct our mistakes and learn from it alright so since I mentioned it's an overlay the first thing that strikes your mind is okay we have to use the sub stack uh, function so to use the sub stack function you have to type in slash backslash sub stack right so after this is done this is the main key function that has the overlay lettering effect going on so the next thing that you need to do is open a bracket so now inside the bracket is uh, the portion of the um, whether you want it as a huge uh, font or you want a set of type font or you want to have it as math bb it's totally up to you and even the colors and the spacings you can adjust it within these uh, curly brackets so now the next thing that I'm going to do is use a slash and type in huge because I like to keep it a bit huge when it comes to headings uh, and also for you guys to uh, see you know so the next thing is the sizing is done so the next thing has to be uh, the type of font you want. I'm going to go for a normal simple set of type font so I'm going to use text uh, SF so after that is sorted out the main point or the main portion of it is done so then we want and again we want to have a slant effect if you don't want a slant effect you can stop it uh, stop here or you can ignore uh, the function that I'm going to do in in the next minute uh, so I'm going to start again with um, the curly bracket and then slash then text it so text it is basically it gives a slant if you don't want it you can totally skip it and I'm going to go ahead and open a bracket type in a word hello keeping it simple then now I'm going to close it so now you can see that the hello is in uh, open and has a close bracket as well so now you have to close this bracket so that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to go ahead and close the bracket and now I have to go to the next line to do that you have to use a double backslash and it automatically goes into the next line but this is a text editor so it's not going to go to the next line I hit enter but within the equation you don't really require enter because it doesn't work uh, so use backslash two backslashes to enter into new line in the block equation or inline equation so now after we are in the second line we want to concentrate on the second portion of the equation and that is we are going to use the m units to space out the first let first line and the second line so i'm going to use a square bracket and minus two uh, em or m unit and close it as soon as it done uh, with the value so after this you again want to specify what kind of uh, what kind of font you're looking for self type font or math bb as i mentioned earlier so it's better if you stick to the same kind of font so that it looks very cohesive and looks pleasing to the eye and again I'm going to use the serif type font so I'm going to use text SF and after this comes the color right so I'm going to open a bracket and again use the color function so after the color function you want to open and you also have to mention the color that you want I'm going for the same gold gold color so after you have specified the name of the color that you want don't forget to close it and now comes the uh, it comes a bit tricky because you have to continuously play with it 
and once you find a sweet spot you can stop at that point but now uh, I'm going to bring in three backslashes this is not uh, it is kind of a space as you can see in this example right here uh, the back portion and the front portion the back portion is like slightly gray and the first uh, front uh, hello is gold color so it basically makes a spacing between uh, the back hello and the front hello so that's what these three backslashes are for and again I'm going to uh, hit enter but you don't have to because enter doesn't work but to make things easy I'm putting a different line so again I'm going to um, after you're done sorting out the color we have to put in our text because we haven't done that still so now since we are in line 2 the golden draw that is the front portion uh, we, ha we still haven't sorted out uh, the kind of font or anything but it's safe to keep it the similar to the previous one that is uh, in my case it is a uh, huge function and a sans serif font so I'm going to do that alright now slash huge slash text as F okay I made a mistake uh, I have already mentioned it as a text SF right here so I don't really need to put a text SF again so I'm going to go for the italic that is IT so we are almost uh, done with the equation except we have to put in our word yet again and it is hello and once you are done closing we can now check if we have closed in all the brackets so this is done this portion is done and the color is done this bracket is not done so we can go ahead and do that so that is done and this portion is done and this equation is done so we are still left with this bracket so you can go ahead and close that as well so I'm going to type in a word and let's do hello self and now let's try this equation on the word and see if we come up with any errors or anything and you can sort it out together so create equation pasting run into a bit of problem so let's see I'm going to go there and delete ok done still not good um, you can delete yeah there we go and the reason this is big is because I put this into H1 so that's why it's big actually not H1 I think I put it in H2 yeah H2 alright so that's how you can uh, fix your problems it's basically extra space or no space but sometimes it's best if there's no space at all so even though the space is there right here it's because it's needed uh, for the effect the, for the overlay effect to actually happen so yeah there you go so now let's play around with the M value and see uh, what big difference it makes we're going to change the 2 to 3 okay it's still overlaid but it doesn't look as nice as before so let's go ahead and do minus 1 I think minus 2 is like a sweet spot let's remove the negative and do a positive yeah it just minuses the space you know minus 2 I mean 2 yeah, it's the difference in space so let's just stick to minus 2 it looks really nice and it actually shows the overlay effect and yeah this is how you can uh, do an overlay uh, effect overlay lettering effect in your blogs or your websites or wherever you want to add an aesthetic to hope you learned something from this video I will see you next time Bye.